time for another check-in with Quincy City Clerk Nicole Crispo about the last Board of License Commissioners meeting, which took place on uh, September 13th. Hi, Nikki. Hi, Joe. How are you today? I'm great. Thanks for spending some time with us. Appreciate the update as always. Sure, of course. Did um, you have a full uh, full contingent of board members? We did. Um, Jay was unable to be there, so Rob Conlon sat in um, <clears throat> for Director Duca. And everybody else was in attendance. Yes. Very good. All right. What happened? Uh, agenda item number one was here regarding the request of Cubic Labs for a special use permit one day beer and wine license for an event at Kilroy Square in support of Boston Chain Week, uh, Blockchain Week, on Wednesday, September 21st, excuse me, at 3 to 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. Um, Councillor Ian Kane was there. Um, he spoke about Boston Blockchain Week and um, wanted to be able to bring um, some young um, professionals to the downtown and um, innovative um, work that they're doing. Um, there is a registration that goes along with it. It's um, www.bostonblockchain.com. There's a $50 registration fee. They'll have um, Widowmaker and Townsend there um, for beer, wine, and food. Um, this is for um, a nonprofit. They are expecting between 500 and 1,000 people. No kidding. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yes. Um, I, don't, I don't really understand the whole blockchain thing, but I know a lot of people I, do. I don't either, but um, there was a write-up um, in the Boston Herald um, about, about Councillor Kane and his startup. So if you need more information, you can certainly go there. Okay, good. And that went through five to zero. Okay, certainly. Again, uh, the, the Kilroy Square is definitely getting a lot of use for sure. <laughs> it certainly is. What yeah. a great spot. Yeah, it certainly is. Yeah. It, it's nice, common area that people can um, can hang out and talk and and eat some good food and drink some beer. It's great. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Network into its core. Um, agenda item number two here and regarding the request of St. George Albanian Orthodox Cathedral for a special use permit one day beer and wine license for the Albanian Community Festival at Kilroy Square on Sunday, October 2nd from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Um, Leo Keka uh, was there um, and um, he was he actually came a little late, but um, had a good um, layout of what was going to happen. Um, I guess um, St. George Albanian Orthodox Church used to do this in South Boston. Um, South Boston has just gotten um, so busy that they're unable to provide it there. So they moved it. They're moving it to Quincy and um, same Kilroy Square. Yeah. Again, so um, the food um, will be provided by Alba, and um, I, I believe it's Widowmaker doing the beer and wine. Okay, very good. Um, that also went through um, five to zero. Agenda item number three was here we got in the request of. Booster Fuels Inc. doing business as booster for fuel and storage permit for the premise located at 97 East Howard Street. Proposed manager Tolly Ochanda and Jack Congregan was there um, speaking. He is a manager and this is um, currently operating with state and fire department approval under $10,000 under 10,000 gallons of fuel in the vehicles. Requires uh, license board approval for an additional um, vehicles over 10,000 gallons. That being said, 
this is a whole new concept um, to our city, mostly even Massachusetts. Um, they do have them um, in different areas in the country. However, they don't have them here yet. And what it is, is they're, they're looking to go into um, 97 East Howard Street, which is part of um, the Quirk um, lot there. Um, and so in the, in the shipyard. And what it is, is they have these gas trucks and they go out and they fuel up Amazon, FedEx, UPS, and all these fleets of, of vehicles. So um, that being said, the fire chief had some questions, concerns, um, you know, is going to work with these two gentlemen on getting everything ironed out and had asked that it be tabled for 30 to 60 days. Okay. So right. that they can work out the logistics. Okay. So is it basically a parking lot full of tanker trucks? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I can see where the fire chief would have questions about that. Sure. Exactly. Sure. Okay. Um, and so that, that, um, was tabled until further notice. Okay. Agenda item number four, which was continued from August 16th, um, which was the hearing regarding the request of off the hook bar and grill doing businesses off the hook uh, bar and grill, John Gallagher, the manager, alteration of license premise to reflect an outdoor dining and patio area of 1,625 square feet to include an additional new walk-up bar with four seats. The outdoor area accommodates seating for 44. That being said, this is um, moving in, in a bunch of different directions. Um, the applicant asked to withdraw and we, um, we're all set with that, and we were just going to announce that at the meeting. But then the um, applicant's attorney was there, um, Robert Fleming, and asked that we do not withdraw the application and um, needs more time to talk to his client. Um, that being said, like it was literally happening in, happening in the moment. And so I said, well, let's table that too. And we did. Um, so I haven't heard from them yet. And I, I anticipate that they're going to be ironing out some more stuff before they come back before us. And that being said, uh, we'll talk if it's, if it's completely different, um, they may just have to do a new application and a new butters and all that that goes with it. Okay. So what's there now, Nikki, for outdoor dining? Is there he, any outdoor dining? Yes, there is. Um, there's an extension of premise um, that has gone on from COVID and there's 300 square feet that okay. is um, part of the license itself. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, I know he's, he's just trying to work. I know with the neighbors, uh, it's a residential yeah. area. So just try to get everybody uh, on board. Yeah, it's it's both residential and business district zone. So, okay. yeah. So that okay, completed. So table then, that's, that was it, right? Yeah, that was it. Very good. So when's your next meeting? Our next meeting is September 27th. Okay, we will catch up on the 28th, if that's okay. Certainly. I'll put you on my calendar right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, while you're doing that, let's uh, take a step back and uh, do a little recap of how the how you think the primary went. Oh, I think it went well. I mean, you know, other can't stop the rain, and everybody says we need it. So it just so happens to fall on that day. Um but other than that, I mean, there were no problems at the polls. Um, everything went very well. Um, all 31 locations available to the residents. 
Um, <clears throat> and like I said, we didn't have any problems. Um, our, our turnout was a little lower than I anticipated at um, 19, um, almost 20%, but I think that goes along with the weather. Mm -hmm. Sure, yeah. Did it take a little longer to tabulate at night than normally does? Um, so there was one issue um, down at Ward 6, um, the ticker tape, um, the warden pulled the tape out and couldn't get the tape back in, uh, took the ter first tape off, but couldn't um, put the tape back in to get a second tape. So we had to send um, a gentleman uh, that works for us on election day from the company um, down to reset the tape. Oh, okay. So once the tape was reset, he just ran it and then came back to City Hall with it. Okay, very good. And of course, it's got to be 6-5, which is the furthest out <laughs> and yep. the biggest. So everybody's <laughs> anticipating and waiting for it. But um, there were no issues. It was it was just a malfunction in the tape. Yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, all the data is, is stored in the machine, so it's, it's yes. just a matter of printing it out. <laughs> Everybody knows about printer malfunctions, I'm sure. Yes. And, and you know, we do leave one there. And we we tape it up and we take one with us yep. back here to City Hall. So that was the problem. He didn't have one to bring back. So wanted to be sure that um, he did it right. The warden there and he, he does a great job. And thank you. I want to I'd like to take this opportunity to say thank you to all of um, the people that work at the polling places. It's a long day. And um, but they do a great job. We have trainings here um, at City Hall and, and everybody did a wonderful job. And I so appreciate that because without them, we couldn't do what we do. Great. Yeah, it is a long day. And it was, uh, as you mentioned, a wet day, too. So yes. it was a slog for a lot of people. Yeah. Uh, and now we look forward to November 8th. We do. Um, for for uh, the residents, what they should know right away is that if they didn't um, fill out their card for the September primary and November uh, general election. They will be getting another um, card in the mail from the state. If they wish to fill that out and mail it back to us, they, they should be going out any day now. Um, if they wish to um, fill that out and mail it back to us, we'll be happy to put a ballot in the mail to you. Okay. That's for a mail-in ballot. That's for a mail-in ballot. We'll okay. also have two weeks of um, early voting um, and we'll have obviously election day with all our polling places open. The, the one change in um, the two weeks of early voting will be um, the first weekend and week um, will be here at City Hall in in uh, the Great Hall, and we will have one weekend at North Quincy High. Okay. And that's going to be what, late October, I think that begins? Yeah, it's a, um, I believe it's October 22nd. Yeah, I think you're right about that. Okay. Yeah. And it's and all so on the website. That will be here, and um, the following weekend will be at North. At North, okay. Yeah. And, okay. and we'll have that for you. We'll do our show before that. Yep. Um, and we'll get that information out to you. Of course, that information will be on the City of Quincy website. In the Quincy Sun, we're going to run, you know, all of what we did last election again um, so that residents can, can be aware of, you know, their opportunity to vote um, going forward. And is it too late to register for the November 8th election, Nikki, or can you still do that? No, you can still register. Um, you can register up to 10 days before the election. So um, Saturday, the 29th, um, I believe is the, is the last day to register to vote. And that's um, changed a bit because we used to be open till 8 PM and the new, vote law uh, that was enacted in July is eight to five. 
Okay. For um for voter registration. Okay. And so you'll be open till five o'clock that day. Right. Yes. Okay. At City Hall. Yes. At City Hall. Okay. And then we'll be down at North too, which will bring some voter registrations. You can register there as well. Oh, okay. Very good. Is that that's you only can register on the on the uh, state website? It all runs through the state because it's a secure website, of course. So all of our links um, on our city page are straight to the secretary's page for the security of the links. Gotcha. And, and you can certainly go there and register to vote anytime. Okay. Very good. Okay. Always good to catch up with you, Nikki. I really appreciate it. You too. Take care. Okay. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.